But first, it's a really tough topic to talk about, but it is such an important one to have. Yeah, we're talking about mental health and suicide. It is a serious problem, especially among teenagers. Suicide is the second leading cause of death among 15 to 24 year olds. The majority of people who attempt to take their lives have a significant mental health disorder, usually depression. Today, Atrium Health hosted an event to raise awareness about the issue in the Charlotte community. One of the speakers actually tried to take his own life when he was a teenager. He wanted to share his story so that it could hopefully save someone else's life. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendes was at that event and has more on the powerful message. Chad Simpson on the outside, a smiling dad. A musician, but a closer look at those hands, you'll find a faded scar from a darker time in his life. I was in a very dark place. I uh, was on an enormous amount of medication trying to make it, the pain stop. Simpson was 17 the first time he decided he didn't want to live anymore. I was found just in time. By 25, he tried to end it all again. I thought my family would be much better off without me. It wasn't so much, it had nothing to do with selfishness. I was miserable and I knew my family would be much better off without me. So bloated from pills and booze, doctors had to cut his ring off his finger. And I got it right here too. 15 years later, that scar. But the mental healing, possible, because he got the help he needed. I didn't have a proper perspective because I was looking through that distorted lens of despair, hopelessness, and depression. Simpson's story becoming more and more common as teen suicide rates continue to climb across the Carolinas. We know that kids are connected in ways they weren't connected 20, 30 years ago because they have access to be able to talk to people around the world, but they're also much more isolated than they were 20, 30, 30 years ago because instead of having conversations, we connect through uh, devices. Which is why behavioral health experts like Victor Armstrong say we as a community have to start talking about the topic that was once so taboo. We're all impacted. Atrium Health looking to be part of that conversation and that treatment by talking to the community about suicide and ways to get help. Suicide itself is not the disease. It is the worst possible outcome of a lot of converging things. Simpson now sharing his story. And I was always afraid that if I opened up and started to talk, I would fall apart. So I was not going to do that. But with help, he held it together and held on to his place at the center of his family, wants others to have that chance too. If we can get the message out that there is hope, that um, if you hold on and ask for help, you can be saved. In Charlotte, Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte.